Today, I want to show you around the SawStop Professional Cabinet Saw. Now, I've had this saw in my shop for over a couple of years, and I absolutely love it. What I want to do is show you around all the features uh, on this saw, then we'll go ahead and cut some wood, and I'll even fire off the safety mechanism. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're not familiar with the saw stop, the big differentiating feature on this cabinet saw is the fact that it has a safety mechanism which will stop this blade if it comes in contact with your finger. There is a brake cartridge down inside of here that will shoot into this blade, both stopping the blade and retracting it below the tabletop surface if your finger ever touches this blade while it's operating. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you a little bit later, but first let's take a look at some of the other features found on this saw. The first thing that I noticed when I assembled my saw stop was the fit and finish is outstanding from the powdered coated paint job that won't rust to the heavy duty cast hand wheels that give a great positive feedback. The on off switch and oversized paddle switch make it really easy and safe to use. The precision ground cast iron top with beveled front edge is outstanding. The big steel tube rail and large heavy fence with lever work fantastic. Everything on the saw looks and feels just great and operates extremely smoothly. When I first turned on the saw, it was amazing to see just how little dust escapes. The dust collection on the saw stop is performed via the low profile blade guard on the top and a 4 inch port at the back of the saw. The blade guard traps dust getting flung off the front of the blade and sends it out a port in the back that you connect to a vacuum. It's low profile to stay out of the way has sidewalls to help trap the dust, and has anti-kickback poles at the back, which can easily be tuned, turned up and out of the way. The saw stop comes with a zero clearance insert, which helps prevent chip out and tear out, and this uh, throat plate allows the blade to be uh, beveled. Or you can, of course, buy your own uh, throw plates and cut through them to get even tighter clearances. What I love about the zero clearance insert is the fact that it is fast and easy to take out, allowing you full access to the saw for changing blades, uh, etc. The throw plates also have little uh, hex uh, keys here for leveling the throw plate to your surface. The saw stop not only has fast access to get in for changing your blade, but it also has really fast access for changing your blade guard over to the riving knife. Simply lift up on this lever here and you can pop out the blade guard. Take that aside, grab your riving knife, slip it in and push down the lever and you're good to go. This fast uh, access and changing means you're much more likely to be putting on that blade guard and using it when it's appropriate. I love the Beesmeyer style fence that comes with the saw stop. Beefy rail and fence, but it slides very smoothly, locks down tight and doesn't flex. What I also love about this fence is the fact that it, I can use the ruler once I've set it up. I know exactly where it's going to cut accurately every time. It's also really easy to micro adjust this fence just by giving little taps to the left or to the right and lining it up with the scale. Here I'm getting it just shy of four inches. As you can see the red line is just slightly closer to the 30 second tick mark to the left of four than it is to the one to the right of four. The integrated mobile base works really easily, especially given how big and heavy this saw is. Simply push down on the foot pedal and it lifts the whole saw onto four wheels, two fixed and two swiveling ones that are hidden underneath. Very easy to move back and forth wherever you need to go and then simply put your foot to place it back down. The best part about the mobile base is the fact that when it's down, all four wheels are off the floor, making the whole thing really sturdy, will not move. The manual that comes with your saw stop is one of the best manuals I've ever seen. There are full color photos throughout, what, it's over 100 pages thick of material, and it covers absolutely everything about adjusting and operating your saw. This saw has the capability for adjusting every single thing about it from aligning the blade, the fence, um, the tilting mechanism and stops, everything about it is listed right here in this easy to use manual. Let's go ahead and cut some wood. 
I first raise the blade to just above the height of the wood. Lower the blade guard and I'm ready to rip. Let's go ahead and cross cut using the miter gauge. I told you I was going to fire off the safety mechanism found in this saw, so let's do it. No, I'm not going to use my finger, but I am going to use a hot dog. I've got a piece here that's getting a bit short for me to hold with my hand safely, but it's the end of the day, just one more cut. I've got the blade set just above the wood like I would normally have it in my shop, and I'll run this through about the same speed I would normally run a piece of wood. The only difference is I have the riving knife instead of the blade guard so you can more easily see the action that's about to happen. Wow, that happens really fast. I inspected the hot dog where the blade hit it, but I couldn't even find a nick. Let's go ahead and look inside and see what happened. I first take off the throat plate and then take remove the riving knife. Then I reach down and take off the pin that holds the brake cartridge in. Next, I lower the whole saw, which resets it after it was whipped beneath the table like you saw. Then I raise up the saw blade all the way for easy access. Go ahead and grab my wrenches and remove the arbor nut and washer so I can get to the blade. Then wiggling the blade and the brake cartridge off at the same time is a little tricky, but a little bit of patience and it comes right off. So let's talk about what just happened there. The saw stop keeps a small electric charge on a saw blade at all times that it's running. And that electric charge is constantly being monitored by the brake cartridge. When your finger or finger connected to a hot dog uh, touches the blade, it pulls off that electric charge and that's sensed by the brake. Uh, the saw therefore, uh, when it senses that, immediately releases this spring and that spring is under a lot of tension and shoots the brake into the spinning blade, immediately stopping the blade and uh, the momentum of the blade pulls the whole assembly under the table. And that's what saves your finger. Just remember, if this happens to you, you have to replace your blade with a new one and also a brake. $135 for a blade, 70 bucks for a break. Well, I guess it's better than replacing one of these. The SawStop Professional Cabinet Saw comes in a couple of different models. There's a one and three quarter horsepower, 110 volt option, or a three horsepower, 220 volt option. And that's what I have here. Uh, there's also optional accessories, of course. The integrated mobile base is optional. Uh, on the lower powered saw, the integrated uh, dust shroud blade guard is optional standard on the three horsepower so definitely make sure when you're ordering you're getting the options that you want if you're looking for a cabinet saw or a table saw in this price range for me i'd look no further than saw stop it's a no-brainer to pay a few extra bucks to have technology in my table saw that is going to save a finger if something bad is about to happen and as you've seen from this video, I haven't sacrificed any quality or option by going with the SawStop Professional Cabinet Saw.